Joe, we're here at uh, Millturn Precision in Hinkley. Now, it's a really interesting application because this component here is machined out of over a 100mm bar through this Hydrofeed MSV110 bar feed. Um, how difficult is it to machine bar of this diameter? I mean, they're obviously achieving it, but it sounds tricky to me. I don't think it's tricky, but I think it is quite uncommon. You don't usually see large bar over 100 mil being bar fed. I mean, that's 101 mil for that optical component there. And you can actually see the actual material removal that's coming out of, of, of that particular component. I mean, there's not much left nothing here. left. Yeah. I mean, probably less than 10% of the, you know, the material left here. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of the machine involved in this, obviously, because the machine has to machine it. But when you're starting to manage bars of that diameter and that weight through a bar feed into a machine, does it not, you know, is there not potential issues? I think if you've got the right equipment, no. And I think you need to know what you're doing. I think that obviously there are limitations in weight. Um, if you were going for longer bar um, and if it was different material, um, you've got to take some of the considerations into play, what the machine is. Obviously, you're determined by the spindle bore of the machine in regards to what bar you can, you can actually feed through it. Um, and then pop, part catchers on the other end. You know, again, if that particular component now, you, you've removed most of the material, so the weight of it is very light. But if, for example, you weren't removing most of the, the weight, you imagine the, the weight of a, a, an 100 uh, diameter billet that you're chopping off and then you've obviously got to manage that. Well, this is obviously a hydrofeed product here and it's interesting to see that you can go to these bar diameters, over four inch bar diameter here. Mm. But hydrofeed themselves are the supplier of the robo job unit. So what would determine whether you choose to bar feed something um, and machine it like this or actually cut it into billets and, and use a robot loading system. And, th and there's an argument to say, what, why not do both? You know, sometimes a, a component lends itself to billet work um, and then you'd use the robo job. But then on other occasions, why not use the bar, you know, and bar feed it? Um, not to mention, not to forget, um, that Hydrofeed now also offer a three meter length bar feeder too. And that also can go up to 100 mil bar capacity. So lots of different automated solutions from Hydrofeed, including the new tower as well, where not only are you automating the actual bar, the billet, uh, but you can also automate the setups as well. It'd be interesting to know if anyone in the audience is actually bar feeding uh, to this diameter. And if they're watching this and thinking, actually, they, they could do with actually doing this, then Hydrofeed is obviously an option here with this MSV 110. What I can tell you is Ian's very impressed here, isn't he? Uh, with this solution and setup. Yep, definitely very impressed. He says he's made a fortune from this particular setup. Um, so yeah, probably many more you orders to come. <laughs>